Right guys, so it's now clearly boiling, so I guess I can switch this off now. Again, Trump. Good morning again. Wait. Oh, there you go. Uh, good morning. Nagaharvest niya ako na leaves. Gagawin daw niyang tea. Tea, yeah. We are going to make Mayana tea or Coleus tea because as a, apart from being colorful ornamental plants, Coleus plants are also medicinal which means they can be used as supplement for a variety of conditions. So based on my research, uh, seems that coleus plants or mayana plants produce a chemical called forscolin and forscolin is actually marketed as a supplement you can actually buy forscolin online and uh, from different su supplement stores and coleus or forscolin are used for high blood pressure chest pains or angina, asthma, dry eye, and many other conditions. So for maybe hundreds of years, these coleus plants have been used to treat those conditions. But for now, uh, it's not scientifically proven since uh, coleus or forskolin is considered as a supplement. And forskolin also works on muscles and the heart and the blood vessels, which means it can produce a powerful heartbeat but lessens the blood pressure. So it's used for high blood pressure because it widens the blood vessels. And you know what? Uh, Mayanas or coleus plants also have one unique uh, benefit for people because it widens blood vessels it actually can work much like Viagra yep <laughs> yep guys because it widens your blood vessels lowers your blood pressure it actually increases blood circulation so it's been used for erectile dysfunction so that's one secret guys don't tell anyone but we're going today we're going to make Mayana tea. So uh, and here is our harvesting all these leaves to make tea. So we're going to make Mayana tea. So uh, you know uh, leaves of the coleus plants are actually not not toxic. They're also not edible. Which means if you chew on this, if you, if you chew too much, you might get stomach upset. And these are also not good for dogs because uh, it can make your dogs uh, sick because of indigestion maybe. But also, uh, Mayana plants or coleus plants can be used as a, as a tea. So which means if you boil these leaves and drink, can actually give you some benefits so it might not be good to chew on these leaves because it might cause you stomach upset or indigestion but if you make a tea out of these leaves you can get the benefits so I'm not a doctor I'm not, and I'm not recommending you to boil mayana leaves to fix you know like your, your asthma or high blood pressure uh, I'm just demonstrating you and reading from online. So, so let me read some more. So, you says, so it's for possibly effective for heart conditions like idiopathic congestive cardiomyopathy. So, I'm just reading this, guys. It's not coming from me. Asthma. So, it's also useful for asthma, dry eye, 
erectile dysfunction there you go guys as the proof high blood pressure weakened and enlarged heart the di dilated cardiomyopathy eye disorders that can lead to vision loss such as glaucoma obesity so it seems it can help you burn more fat so that's another plus so it can help your can help your body in many ways although these aren't considered or officially medical so as, as i said forscolin or coleus is just considered as a supplement not a medicine just keep that in mind so here are a few more allergies blood clots cancer even cancer chest pain angina insomnia irritable bowel syndrome period pain seizures for the skin urinary tract infections and other conditions so don't take my word for it guys again disclaimer i'm just reading from online this is from webmd so i'm just sharing what i've researched so guys those are very important points so remember them especially this is an anti-obesity plant you can make a tea out of this and help you drink it and help you burn fat and it's also for sexual dysfunction like erectile dysfunction guys so i'm not responsible for what you want to do with the with the tea or what purpose you want to use it for but here we go we're going to boil these leaves and make a tea call this tea so again guys i am not saying that you should do this at home so I've, I've just read the benefits from online from the internet but I'm going to show you how to make cold use tea but again uh, this is from research online research and for the purposes of demonstration so I'm not recommending that you drink cold use tea but I'm gonna drink it here just for this Right guys, first, first of all, let's wash our coleus leaves. Just rinse them in running water. Just to clean them up a bit, remove dust or whatever insects might be clinging to them. Very colorful. I'm gonna put the put these in boil in boiling water. There you go. We will let this boil until the leaves give off their ingredients all right so we will let this boil until the leaves give off their essence all this tea so guys so while we're waiting for the tea to boil let me just add and emphasize that there can be side effects because uh, if taken in too too large an amount uh, coleus or forscoline supplements can cause diarrhea, loose stools, and other side effects, according to WebMD. So it says here that doses of 500 milligrams or less seem safe. So be careful not to take too much or drink too much forscoline or coleus. So here it is. There, I hope you can read that. That's from online. So yeah, there you go. Right guys, so it's now clearly boiling. So I guess I can switch this off now. 
and there you go see the color of the, the water so that's my tea or coleus tea guys so i'm gonna take a few scoops of this and drink it right i got my mug here now let's take a few scoops a few ladles There. I'm gonna let this cool for a bit. Hi guys, I I have my coldest tea. There you go. That's my coldest tea. And uh, success, I'm gonna drink it now and tell you how it tastes like. Yes. It's not sweet, it's not bitter. It's uh, it's not like oregano either because oregano has a sharp taste. It's actually quite mild. Mild. Hmm. Yes. So uh, I don't know how to describe it, but it's uh, tasteless. It's minty a bit, a bit minty. So that's how I would describe it. And it's mild. It's uh, actually can be relaxing. It's just very very slightly bitter so i don't know what this will do to me so if i'm not able to vlog tomorrow you know what happened <laughs> so guys i hope you enjoy this episode so see you around for the next one it's gonna be another special vlog so soon we'll be going on another plant tour so wait for it so watch this space and Tell your friends, share on Facebook. See you around. Argentron.